Hi everyone, hope you're well. In this snippets section, we are looking at magnesium. Oh, magnesium. It's one of the favorites of um, us health professionals and it's wide, wide applications, which is why it's such a favorite. And I find it very useful in a lot of health conditions where you're really trying to bring balance back to the body. Magnesium is involved with over 300 different enzyme pathways, different enzyme systems. It's quite interesting the way it works. It's involved with DNA and RNA synthesis. So think back to the B vitamins where we looked at the phyllotes and the B12, for example, a similar kind of effect in a different way. Membrane structure, membrane function, similar to what we look at with omega-3. Nerve function. So you'll find a lot of people with nervous system you know, issues, so a lot of um, twitching and, and cramping and pins and needles or, you know, the neurasthenias kind of thing, have a sort of deficiency of magnesium in the background. May not be the only deficiency, but it's one of the ones in the background. It works with the neurotransmission and metabolism of neurotransmitters. So if we're keeping this in mind, it's going to help with the stress response over time. And if you remember which B vitamin it is, it also works with the stress response. Vitamin B5. So couple these two up together, you will get a 1 plus 1 equals 3 effect. Magnesium works for the maintenance of normal heart rhythm, muscle relaxation and muscle contraction. So what you'll find is with muscle metabolism is people always think of magnesium is the relaxant and calcium is the contractor, C and C. So you're looking at contraction, relaxation, contraction, relaxation and all that it is true we also look at calcium for contraction of muscle with magnesium working with the balance to get the calcium into the cell to do that or to activate that process so magnesium is required for the calcium metabolism for muscle contraction and calcium is required for magnesium for the muscle relaxation and in between that we have the z disc which requires zinc z zinc z disc zinc so when we couple this up, muscle twitches, muscle cramps, muscle spasms generally do respond to magnesium supplementation and magnesium foods. But in some cases, the results aren't seen to be as effective in some people. And what we then need to think about is not just a single nutrient, but what else to be doing at the same time. So it's this combination effect. So it's, it's quite interesting. And I do find it very you know, useful where it works with the muscle contraction, relaxation, bone integrity, bone health, bone mineralization. So you can have strong bones and strong muscles, otherwise you end up with, you know, negative, you know, balance of the two. It's involved with energy metabolism. So like the B vitamins and your bicronol coenzyme Q10, a lot of nutrients are involved with energy metabolism a different way. In this case, the energy metabolism is what we call magnesium ATP. Magnesium adenosine triphosphate, where the magnesium helps to know, pick up and transport the ATP to where it's needed. It's a whole new sort of molecule, like Lego blocks stuck together, the way how it works. I find it interesting. We'll spend a different session on that. Mitochondrial health and reduction of inflammation. So we mentioned previously zinc, magnesium, B6 as anti-inflammatories and regulation of delta-5, delta-6 desaturase pathways with our eicosanoid pathways. So magnesium plays a very big role with those other nutrients as well as B5, B3, B2, all the other B vitamins and vitamin C. So again, it's never just one nutrient. I could talk all day about magnesium. It's a wonderful mineral, um, but this is just a snippet. So um, enjoy magnesium, take it daily, have it daily as a food, and away we go.